Good morning everyone and welcome to one of the first YouTube vlogs that I am going to be doing. This is a little bit of a day in the life of and so far I basically got up and had a coffee um, and now I've just got in my car. It is a very short trip to the yard. It takes me about 15 minutes so I won't bother recording that and yeah I'll show you what we do when we get there. See you in a bit. Hello everyone, we have now just got to the yard, the horses have had their breakfast and now it's time to go and get their hay and maybe get a couple of them from the field. So as you saw that was me taking the hay out of the hay steamer. I'm very lucky that I do use a hay gain. Um, I think it's a lot better to feed your horses hay than hay lead. It's just a personal preference. Um, so yeah, they're all going to get the hay now and then I'll probably stop looking out. So the time is now about 7.45. Um, I've put another load of hay gain on, as you just saw. Um, the wind and the rain is picking up, so I'm just gonna go and get the horses in from the field that I put out last night, as it was actually quite dry and quite warm. So I think they're ready to come in. So I think the horses are definitely ready to come in today. They're covered in mud, so we're gonna put them in the stable, let them have their breakfast, and then we will give them a groom later when the mud's dry. It makes life a lot easier. Okay, so that is all the morning jobs done for now. Um, we've mucked out, we've hayed, we've fed, we've cleaned the buckets out, we've got a couple in from the field. Um, it's now time to put the kettle on, have a cup of coffee and make a plan for the day of what we're gonna do with all the horses. So I thought I'd just show you this. So this is my diary that I use um, kind of day to day. And as you can see, I fill it in at the beginning of the week, um, making a little plan for all the horses, any jobs that I need to do on the yard. And I think this just makes sure that everything's professional and everything's tidy and you know where you are in the week. So yeah. Hello, so as you can see, we're now at the stables. This is my seven-year-old Javelin. Um, today, we're just gonna go on a little hack with her. Um, it is about 8.30, I think. Um, so this is usually the time that I'll be getting on my first horse for the day. And yeah, we just try and keep it very interesting for all the horses. They don't do the same thing every day. They're not hammered in the school. They go hacking, they get lunged, they get schooled, they maybe do a bit of cavaletti work. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna go on a little hack. So this is six-year-old Butterfly. She's owned by a really lovely lady called Harriet Jordan, who I'm sure that you've seen all her posts on Facebook. Um, I'm very lucky that <laughs> Butterfly and Javelin get on very well. And so we're gonna be doing a ride and lead with them today. So it might be a little bit difficult to record, but as you can see, Javelin's rearing to go. She can't wait. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can get. A 
Okay, so it's now about half past nine. Um, we just got back from our hack. We were out for an hour. They were very well behaved and managed to have a good trot up the hills. Um, so I've just put Javelin's turnout rug on and I'm just going to do butterfly off for the day. So yeah. Okay, so this is number two of the day. This is my five-year-old Cass. Um, he's by a stallion called Casago and his mother was the three-year-old loose jump champion of Holland. So we have quite high hopes for Cass. Um, he's just doing like little bits of work, nothing too intense. So we're probably just gonna go on a little hack with him today. So yeah, let's get on and go. Okay, so we've now got to the hack that some of you may recognize. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but all I can say is how lucky I am. And I am so grateful to be able to keep my horses here. I absolutely love this place. Um, yeah, like I say, I'll go into that a little bit more later. So we've just got back from my hack and that's his favorite thing I've been to do when we get back from riding is to have a nice roll shavings before I've even had time to step out. Mm. He was fantastic on his hack for a five-year-old. So we're going to put him and Javelin out in the field for a little bit of chill time now. Good boy. So as you can see, um, that's the two gingers turned out in the field. They'll stay out till this afternoon and I'll get them in and do them off for the night. Cass is always the first to roll in the field. Javelin just kind of potters about, just wants to eat the grass of what there is of the grass. And Cass is like the annoying brother of the two. He's always bullying Javelin for a little bit of entertainment and Javelin just doesn't really put up with it. Um, I have had a few people ask me about turning out horses together, as I've put it on my story before of horse in the field together. I've never had a problem with it. Um, a lot of the jobs that I've had, a lot of people will turn out individually, but mine are all four, five, six and seven year olds. So I do try and do it from when they're quite young and I think they're quite happy together. It gives them time to play and just enjoy being in each other's company without being in a stable. So we've just tacked up the lovely Charisma. She's a six year old by Lord Louis, who's here on sales livery. Um, she did her first one day event last year and was clear in the cross country with me. And yeah, she's a really lovely horse. So we're gonna give her a little bit of flat work today and just give her a little leg stretch. As you can see, Charisma is now back in her stable. She's been skipped out, so she's got a nice clean bed. And um, yeah, we've done her off in the wash box and we always try and keep all their feet oiled inside and out once, sometimes twice a day. She schooled really, really well. I'm really, really happy with her. Let's get the last one ready to ride. Six-year-old Kinney, she's also one for sale. She's by Arco. Um, she looks very shiny under her rug actually, but everything else, not so much. Okay, so we are just currently hacking on six-year-old Kinney. Um, we are on what we call the show field. Um, we can't really see much of it. There you go. And here's the main arena. And just for anyone wondering, no, we don't go in that arena ever. Um, it is only used for shows. Um, we are allowed in one of the collecting rings, which is fantastic. And we also have our own arenas um, at the top near the yard. But no, we do not use the international ring um, day to day. It's safe for the shows. So I'm just going to finish riding Kinney on our little hack now. And then I will finish off for lunch. So I will just skip them all out, give them some hay if they need it have a little tidy up of the yard and then go and get some lunch and come back later to do the afternoon jobs. Hello everyone, so just before I go on lunch, I'm just gonna really quickly make the horses feeds. Um, now I am very lucky that I am sponsored by Keyflow. So these are the two feeds that I use. This is Pink Mash and Nurture Pro. Uh, Pink Mash is a really high fiber mash that I've been using for nearly a year now. Um, it has the highest amount of fibre in a mash that I've seen more recently. It does have pre and probiotics in it, which is great for the hind gut, which is, you know, so important for horses now for so many things. Um, it also contributes to behaviour and 
it is very good for keeping everything moving because it's so high in fiber and also for the digestibility of food to get everything that you need out of what you're feeding. So alongside that, I also feed it with Nurture Pro. So Nurture Pro is a pre-digested stud balancer. So it is actually designed for young horses, um, which is perfect for mine. It is relatively high in protein. Um, both of these are really low in both sugar and starch, which we know can contribute to giving your horse ulcers and also making them quite sharp and a bit flighty. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love the Nurture Pro balancer. Um, it's done wonders for my horses. They've all got great coats. And yeah, I feel so lucky to be part of the Keyflo team. Okay, so I'm just going to start by making it the pink mash. Um, they all just get one scoop of this dry in the morning and one scoop dry at night. And um, you mix it with three parts water. It is fantastic. Um, I absolutely love the pink mash and all the horses really enjoy it too. Um, so I will link both of these things in the description of what I use. And if you would like any more information on any of it, then speak to Sarah, um, who is our Northwest girl on the job for Keyflow. And she's fantastic with all of horse nutrition and can point you in the right direction for what you need for your horse. So I am also extremely lucky to be sponsored by Vital Equine. They are part of the Equiform family. Um, I'm sure you've seen this many times on my Instagram and Facebook. Um, but yeah, here we have some of the supplements. So we have a Liquilite, which is a electrolyte. We have Vitacalm, which is um, a really good karma. Um, so for all those people that ask on Facebook about good karmas, that is one of the best and it is so cost effective. Um, we also have Better Hoof, which is fantastic for maintaining their hooves, which I am big on. And that's why we hoof all twice a day inside and out. And we also feed this supplement. It keeps all their feet looking really healthy. Um, we have a Maxiflex, which is a really good um, joint formula. It's got glucosamine in it, which is the main ingredient of actually most um, joint supplements. But this one seems fantastic and all mine have felt great since they've been on it. And we also have Air Force, which smells incredible. And this is to support healthy airways. So one of my horses actually had a bit of a cough last year and I decided to keep her on it. You can see that it's actually full of natural ingredients so we have honey apple cider vinegar aloe vera menthol and eucalyptus and these are all great for your horse's airways if you have a horse with a cough or that maybe is a heavy breather uh, but yeah go and check out their website i'll put a link down below and i will probably do a full video at some point of all the supplement range that they do hello everyone so i've just got back to the yard it is about two o'clock now um i've just got a few jobs to do and then i have a lesson to teach at three till four um, so I've got some paper bedding in the car, as you can see, for javelin. So I'm just going to put that in. I'm going to have a good clean of the hay gain, clean out the drinkers and yeah, keep busy. Also. So I'm just going to get the kids in from the field, pour it absolutely chucks it down, get them done off, get their pyjamas on and then do the lesson. My lesson has just arrived so I'm just going to go and teach the lesson for an hour and then it's time to finish off the yard. I just finished my lesson that went really really well with the pony jump fab with the girl. I've just got my hay from the steamer so I'm just going to go and hay, skip out and then feed and then it's time to go home. Okay, so now it's time to clean all of the tack that we used today. I've gone over everything so far with a wet sponge and now I'm just going to go in with some conditioner soap um, to give it all a quick clean. I try and do this every day again, it's just keeping everything professional, keeping everything tidy. So I've just put another load of hay gain on, ready for tomorrow morning. That's on a timer, so it'll come on about five o'clock tomorrow morning um, and ready for half past seven when I come back. And now it's the most important time of day where I can feed the horses I think they're all ready for their dinner. <laughs> Hello, so we are back at home now. Here's my dog, Sierra. 
Um, I'm just going to get some haylage for the two three-year-olds that I've got here and they're also going to need some straw putting in. And then that we have the done. two three-year-olds bedded down. This is a lovely one by West Point Quick Fire out of a For Pleasure Mother. He's very, very sweet. I think he's going to be a keeper. And then we also have Doug here, who's by your Temple of Menko. Out of a really lovely mare. Oh, it's still playing with the pitchfork. It's not very safe. And yeah, they're all bedded down. Hi, Doug. Hey, Doug. Right, so I've just got through the door. It is about six o'clock now, and I think it's time for a beer. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this a little bit of a day in the life of. Um, and I hope that you can now see that there is so much that goes on behind the scenes before we even get to a show. And yeah, this is the general day-to-day -day running of a yard and um, the things that we have to do ourselves. I don't have any staff, so I do do it all on my own. Um, a big thank you to my sponsors, Keyflow Feeds, um, for your ongoing support, and of course to Vital Equine for their amazing supplements that keep all the horses in tip-top condition and make my life a lot easier. So thank you very much, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and hopefully see you all very soon.